you brought up um, a couple weeks ago on your Facebook page that mm. yeah. uh, you were going some through some things. You called it a little bit of a breakdown, some anxiety yeah, issues. Yeah, I got to the verge of it. Well, it's just the difference between getting in a car wreck, like saying I got in a car wreck and, and saying I almost got in a car wreck. Mm. That's the difference between like, having an actual nervous breakdown and almost having one. Okay. But I got to where I almost got in a car wreck back in like November, October. Um, I hit a wall, wall of exhaustion. Apparently 235 days was the amount that I was gone Oof. last year. And I circumnavigated, I think I flew about 500,000 miles. Um, my internal clock from those time zones uh, was so upside down that I couldn't sleep. Mm. And which, you know, when you can't sleep, all the happy drugs that your body produces mm -hmm. go out the window. So I was having to medicate, which I hate doing, and, and m incredible anxiety, um, like crippling, like, I'm not a crier really, and all of a sudden I'd sit there and just start welling up with tears and get Jeez. mad emotional about, I'd be like, why am I, why am I like on the verge of tears right now? And, um, and crippling, I, every time I lay in bed, uh, just the swirl of, oh my God, I've been gone so long, I'm missing my kids' school, I'm missing my wife, I'm missing, I can't write music, I can't write with anybody, and like, my, you know, I, I, I was genuinely unhappy for the first time in my entire life for like, months. I would feel like a lot of people in your business go through that and they do. are not able to check it. So yeah. it was great that you were able to sort of get to that point of, okay, this is what's happening. Yeah. I need to take stock and fix it. Well, when I knew that I wanted to quit internally, I knew it. And, um, when I told my, you know, my manager, I was like, I, I, I'm, I, I don't want to do this anymore. He's like, what? He's like, I was like the band wondered, like, I'm, I'm so unhappy right now. Mm. Um, and I'm, I'm spent. I'm, and I was like, look at our calendar. Like, I don't care. I could be sitting on the, the single, like, speaking of McCarty, I, I could be sitting on the single biggest album of all time, and I would still be unhappy. I'm just, oh I'm done. And so he, we were cool. We canceled the tour. We canceled everything. We moved it. And then, like, two or three months go by, and I was, like, feeling better, writing songs for other people, which for me is therapy. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know what? Let's tour. Great. Let's put out some new, new music. Let's move on. And it just kind of... Feel, feel better now. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Oh, we're so glad you're feeling better. And we yeah. should let you guys know that what he's talking about is they're going on tour this summer with you two and also their own tour. So yes. you'll be gone probably a lot of days. I'll be gone, but, yeah. Um, so you'll be Not on. as much as last year. <laughs> right. So it's a uh, 2017 Honda Civic tour with Fitz and the Tantrums, and right? James, and, James and James Arthur. Arthur yeah. Another great talent, another right? Another great, such a talented dude.